Hello there and welcome to Lower Six Math Sale. This is the Applied Practice Paper H. Here we're working on question one, a statistics definitions question. Graham is researching the effects of a high protein diet has on glucose levels uh, in adults from 25 to 35. He decides to collect random blood samples of 50 female and 50 male students. State the sampling technique Graham has used. So for part A, he has used a quota sampling technique. He's got 50 female and 50 male. It's not random. He's specifically asked for those numbers, so it's a quota. Give two advantages and one disadvantage of using this sampling technique. Well, the advantages could include it's easy to get this sample size. It's inexpensive, fast, and can be stratified if required. So, for example, if there's 50% population male, 50% female, then this is a stratified sample. A disadvantage could include is not random and it could lead to possible biases in the data. Okay, moving on, Graham then decides to select the 50 male blood samples from an alphabetical list of 300 names of males aged 25 to 35 each of whom have agreed to supply a sample of blood if required. Explain how Graham could use a calculator or a random number generator to take a simple random sample of males aged 25 to 35. Well, what he would do is assign each of the 300 males in the list a number, and then using the random number generator 50 times, he would um, pick out 50 names um, out of those 300. If any repeats happen, then he will obviously repeat the experiment one extra time um, to get his total of 50. There's also a button on your calculator that will help you generate a random number in between 0 and 1. So selecting this random number generator button and then timesing by 300 will then give you a number. It will be a decimal number, but you would just round uh, you would round to the nearest whole number and select that um, person. Graham has an equivalent list of 30 female students. Explain how Graham could use a systematic sample of blood from females aged 25 to 35. Well, in this case here, if he's looking for 50 females out of 300, that's every sixth female. So a systematic sample here would go through that list and select every sixth female on that list. But you'd have to start at a random value. So maybe starting with a random number generator, select the first female at random, and then every sixth one from there. Okay, it's circling back rounds on your list if you need to. Okay, right, nine marks for that question.